now some mistake when new entrepreneurs they actually make and how to avoid them. Now, which we will actually tell you um, today because we know say a lot of businesses looking at business person oh, and yeah. a lot of businesses every single day they actually start when inside Wobodo, Nigeria. And some of them not they even see to the end of the year. Some of them they start in two months' time, they don't fold up. You understand now because say, some of them not they actually go through the normal process of um, starting up a business. Now, below now we don't want to start seven entrepreneurs um, um, the, um, decisions where you need to make before you decide to go into that business. Number one, one of the mistakes where you will make, now if you don't know your industry very well, you just want to go into business um, because say, every other person they do one, and you not carry out your market research, you not understand the industry very well, you not read books where they related to what you want to go do. This one, not one of the major mistakes where a lot of entrepreneurs they actually go through. So no matter the business, well, that's in a quick area, you want this fly. No matter the business, make sure you research more concerning this business. Now, number two, they say launching a second business too early. Now, one of the biggest mistakes when people start up, they actually make. Now, after you don't start one, you can't launch another one. You never even successfully achieve one where you don't start up. You launch another one. Imagine the way they make um, um, biscuits. For three months, you never even sell your sell biscuit well finish. Well. You don't they make sweet on top of them. Uh -uh. They say this one are one of the major business and uh, mistakes, sorry, where a lot of entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs, they actually make. Now, number three, making poor hiring decision. Make sure say, the people where you hire for your company, now people where they're competent, and not people where they say you just see, say, oh, person can do business, oh yeah, come to my company. Mm -mm. Now, within the comments I talk, say, if you make the poor hiring decision, it will surely, surely bring down your business. Number three, spending too much. You have started a business and you just spend every dime where you didn't make for that business. He said, don't forget one of the things where you're supposed to do if you get business or if you just start business. Now, to make sure so you they pay yourself every month and most importantly, not forget to save. So, spending unnecessarily if you're actually being down your business. The next step we will give you or the next advice way there on top here, they say doing too much at once. We don't tell you doing too many things. Oh, you're not a digital person, you're not a PR, you're not a communication officer, you're not this and that. Doing too much at once, we actually make one particular aspect, they fail. So focus on one particular thing and see them through. Eventually, you feel actually divert into things, different things, but focus on one particular thing at a time. And the last one we're going to give you today, mistiming ventures. Now, this is one of the biggest mistakes where anybody will want to go into a business and go, they actually make. Now, the timing of starting up that business. I know Simi and Luchi all the time, we always talk about the, 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 the advent of Ankara. Now, we see Ankara in shoes, Ankara in earrings, Ankara in necklaces. Like everywhere on social media, now every business now is mm. Ankara, Ankara. Mm -hmm. You can't be like, say, hey, it is people don't everywhere. Like, bastardize, quote unquote, the, 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 Very Ankara, true. the Ankara fabric itself. And a lot of people are beginning to get tired. Yes. And they're, they're, they're looking for something new. So when you want to enter into like a fashion industry now, you need to understand that audience. You need to understand yeah. your own target audience. You need to understand what they want. You need to understand how the, the audience they take evolve. Because every, just like now, we don't, everybody don't tire Ankara. Listen, in Lagos State, for example, yes. maybe other states is still novel to them. For Lagos, where the industry is pretty much saturated to an extent um, people are looking for something new something different and um, some other style so if you decide to come up with that style at this point in time you're coming at a time when people go embrace them maybe if you become like when Ankara just enter market people feel never get they satisfied with Ankara they feel no look your side but if you're coming at a time when people are looking for some if you're if you're solving the problem as we talked this morning to people we get that problem if you provide that solution to them and that solution get value with a profitable and they can afford to pay for it, then you know you're doing you're on the right path in terms of business. So, Richard, just to add to what you talk, very nice points where you gave. Now, if you won't go into business, yes, we go do your research. And if you discover, say, a lot of people they do that business and you constantly decide that you won't go into them, now you just, you, you just enter the business at the wrong time. Do your research and see how you can do something different about that. From what other people they do. Because right now, talking about Ankara, we see Ankara everywhere. So think of something where you did different, where people never think of putting Ankara into them. Exactly. Like nowadays, I see people using tire to make uh, 
um, center table, center table like like which is amazing. Exactly. Now, they, they even use Ankara, Ankara to do they do one, which is new. And anybody where you go into that business at this time, you can actually make them because it is new. And, so and make sure, say, yeah. before you enter any business, you have to have its perfect timing for them. And you need to be two steps ahead of your competitors because you need to understand, say, for that new thing where it is that you get from, I, from mine, as you get them, 1,000 1, other people get them. First of all, if you know they're fast enough and if you know they as um as effective enough in carrying out that business idea, another person will start them and go kick off. Now, when you kick off, you need to understand, say, competitors are back at day your back and they follow you back to back. So you need to, at times, be two steps ahead of your competitor. Think ahead of time. Imagine, say, okay, if I start this one like this, so they go follow me for back. Okay, but I get this one, two, three things that I go do to stand out when I understand, say, everybody don't copy this thing where they do. In business, <laughs> there are so many ups and downs. Some days you have good days, some days you have some bad days. But uh, that's how business is for you. Every to enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.